Hey everyone, Mr. Schachter here with a bonus video, Rates of Change and Tangent Lines. We're going to examine the derivative shortcut for polynomials. Uh, if you already know the shortcut, you're good to skip this video, but I wanted to make sure if you have not seen the shortcut yet, uh, that you get some exposure to it so we can use it to kind of help our thinking um, for this particular uh, section. So let's take a look. Um, the shortcut for a polynomials a derivative is if you have a polynomial of the form y equals x to the nth power, its derivative is going to be uh, n times x to the, this is a typo actually, it should be n minus first power. So basically, I'll rewrite it. It's y prime equals n x to the n minus 1's power. So you just reduce the power by 1. So very simply, if you have the function x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, its derivative uh, term by term, you just follow this pattern here. So the power comes down, so this will become 3x, and then you reduce the power by 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Uh, the next term, the power comes down and multiplies with the 2, that makes minus 4x, and then reduce the power by 1, um, plus the, the power right here is a 1, it comes down to multiply by the 3 to get the 3, and then you reduce by you reduce by 1, and then the derivative of any constant is equal to 0 because the rate of change of a constant, well, a constant is never actually changing. It's always itself. So the derivative of any constant just goes to 0. So the derivative of that thing simplifies to 3x squared minus 4x plus 3 um, just as a simple polynomial shortcut, okay? Let's revisit example number one that we did in the notes using the shortcut. So I asked you to find the slope of y equals uh, that thing at x equals negative one. So its derivative, very simply, is just equal to two x to the first power plus two and then x to the zero, which would just go away. And then the minus one's derivative is derivative of any constant is zero. So the derivative is two x plus two. So if you actually had to plug in x equals negative one, you get that y prime of negative one is equal to two times negative one plus two, which is equal to zero like we saw when we did the problem out longhand. Another quick problem to take a look at, um, I asked you to find the derivative of one over x um, using limit notation. So if we just verify with the shortcut, um, let's go ahead and rewrite one over x as x to the negative first power. So its derivative would be the power comes down and we reduce by one. So if we rewrote this, the derivative is negative one over x to the second power, which we found in the video. And if I actually just plug in a two, um, this thing is just equal to negative one over four, which is again what we found in video number one. All right, so you guys can go ahead and use this shortcut to help you verify your work, but it will not define our work. We still need to use limit notation.